Hi guys and welcome back to WP Data Table Tutorials. So in this video we have prepared a recently new feature demonstration, something you've been asking about, and that is the option to add your duplicate button and use it to duplicate rows in your tables. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, we'll use a simple manual table uh, where we have name, last name, and email. By default, the duplicate button is not in here. So to do that, you need to enable editing and enable the duplicate button. When you save the changes, you will see the duplicate button is here. So when you click on a row, you will be able to duplicate it. So for example, you can change uh, some data in here, uh, not necessarily you need to change everything. This is, for example, when you're creating new orders or something like that, that you can just uh, change the order ID if, if the same person is buying stuff from your website. So for example here we'll just replace Jane with uh, Jill and hit OK. So Jill will be added as the 11th entry which can be found on the second page. Um, when you enable the duplicate button like this and you enable the front end editing you will be able to duplicate the options, the rows on the front end as well but if you want to enable the duplicate button only for the back end but disable it for your front end users so no editing is uh, available just unclick this save the changes and you will see that the duplicate button is still here in the back end however on the front end it's not there so basically your users on the front end will not be able to edit uh, the table let's just refresh the page and here it is there are no editing buttons in here if we go back and enable editing and save the changes and then refresh the front end page you will see all the buttons that you see in here so new entry edit duplicate and delete as you can see so when you click on it these are these become available so you can edit duplicate or delete an entry um, this is only possible for manual tables so if you want to enable the duplicate button only in the back end, you can do that only for manual tables. Also, if you want to disable the duplicate button in here on the front end, but leave, for example, editing option, just enable editing, save it, and then on the front end, you will see that only edit is possible. New entry, delete, and duplicate is removed from the front end and also in the back end. So if you want to play around with the uh, backend editing and duplication of course you can do it by simply disabling the front end editing and that's basically it great thank you alexander You're and welcome. thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or suggestions please leave those down below in the comments and while you're there don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching take care guys bye bye bye